Welcome back to Hockey Cutter Breaks. Today, got a pretty big mail opening. First card up. Debrinket Future Watch Auto. 533 of 999. Actually, that's, that's a nice young gun photo. It's pretty recognizable, I think. Jack Eichel. Here's an Upper Deck Portraits Rookies for Panarin. Metal Universe, Panarin. Got some marquee rookies. Uh, regular for Panarin, a retro for Panarin. This is from uh, SPX, Shift Change. Sign of the Times Rookies, Alex Debrinkit from SP Authentic, 26 of 99 on card auto. A Timmy Panarin Young Guns. And we've got a Miko Rantanen, SP Authentic, Limited on card auto. I don't know what the future holds for Mr. Eichel, but he's a good player. I think underrated as well. So we got a Platinum Marquee Rookie there. Don't have that card, so I'd pick it up. And we got a retro platinum marquee rookie, from Mr. Eichel. Got a second uh, platinum marquee rookie, and then we've got just a regular Opeachy marquee rookie. We've got a, a rookie phenom from the portfolio set, and we've got a second with a red one there. This is uh, fresh threads, nice looking uh, patch there. Only looks like only a two color. But it's a red, the red parallel, so numbered to 49, 6 of 49. It's the gold parallel, so the low serial number, 1 of 99. <laughs> that's kind of a cool, getting the first one, 1 of 99, that's that's nice. Gretzky, can't go wrong with a Gretzky. Anything Gretzky is, uh, is good to go, so it's a nice looking card. Metal Universe. Of course, I had to get the Jagger. Of all the cards, I'd say the Jagger is kind of my favorite. I like the background, it looks real nice. Final card in this set was, or this lot sale was uh, Eric Lindros, Metal Universe. Got a precious metal gem. Uh, it looked pretty mint. Corners look nice and crisp um, for Jagger. This one I got real cheap. It's like 50 bucks. I don't know if that's a good deal or not, but obviously a lot of hype with uh, precious metal gems right now. This is a McDavid premiere, memorable premieres. Uh, October 8, 2015, McDavid makes a long anticipated debut. Low serial number count, 7 of 10. This is a lot sale. I got some Gretzky cards. Alex Debrinkit, Rookie Foundations. So 25 of 49. This is from 1718 in the Cup, so his rookie year. So a Wayne Gretzky Metal Universe. With the retro jersey there. And Mario. Nice. Okay, there you go. This is from, I think, 1314. 1415, sorry. So this one is 302, 699. I got two other ones, not graded, just raw. But uh, this one was pretty good deal. I think I got this one for 90 bucks, which generally the raw cards go for around 100 ish. So I thought for a graded uh, one, it's still only a nine, but it's an acetate card, so grading will be challenging. Next one was uh, portraits there for his rookie year. This is a nine, so again, not a 10 or anything, or even a 9.5, but. You know, this one was, I think, around 95 bucks, 90 bucks, something like that. So the rock card goes for around 50. So by the time if I would have got this graded, well, with Beckett, it wouldn't have been worth it because I think the minimum price for Beckett now is 150. But even to get it graded like for SGC or something would have been 20, 30 bucks. So I thought this was a decent value because it's basically the rock card plus the, the grading fee and it's already graded. So I don't have to worry about setting it away. So yeah, picked that one up. These were cheap. I got a Matthew Kachuk. PMG, so this is obviously his rookie year, so it's a 9 of 150. We've got a Patrick Lani, um, again this is his rookie year, so 128 of 150. And I got a Miko Rantanen uh, as well, so this would be 59 of 150, so again this would be all their rookie years. Next card is going to be another PMG and McDavid. So this one, obviously not the 15-16, not his rookie, but his second year. Um, it came, also gives a lot sale, so it came with uh, Ranton and Metal Universe Rookie as well. But the card that we're all interested in is, uh, this is a blue PMG for, again, unfortunately not, <laughs> not his rookie year, because those are just outrageous for right now, thousands of dollars. But this one I got for a pretty good price. Um, seller was super good about it. He was pretty transparent about some uh, slight chipping issues in the top edge. So again, it's not gonna be a 10 and there's a slight touch in that corner. So 
Um, seller told me this was how he got it out of the pack, which I have no reason not to believe him. I've seen worse than that out of a pack break before. So unfortunately, some of these cards, I've seen it on different uh, PMGs as well. Sometimes condition can be an issue, even though it's fresh out of the pack. But again, these are low number cards. This is a 47 of 50. Everything else with the card looks great. I don't see any other any other issues that I'm too worried about. It is a Gordie Howe second year card. Um, always wanted to buy a Gordie Howe. I obviously the rookie cards are out of my reach financially. However, second year um, are not that bad. This one has some condition issues. Obviously, it's a, it's a 1952 hockey card, so it's going to be older but it's interesting they're small though the smaller card obviously than uh the newer card like they're quite a bit smaller so when you get these graded they're going to have the filler in around the the slab but um obviously gordy howe goat for sure some will argue he's the best player some will say gretzky some will say bobby orr i mean it's obviously discussion to be had but i still think gordy howe is an amazing hockey player or was an amazing hockey player and uh yeah, just one of the all-time greats. So I wanted to have one of his early, early cards. And fortunately, I was able to, you know, I was able to afford this. I got it at a pretty good deal. Um, I got this for just over 500 bucks. I think it was 515 So I think that's a pretty good price for a second-year Gordie Howe. Centering's not great. I mean, these older cards, centering was, some of them are terrible. So this one is not ever going to be anything of a great grade. I'd, I'd hope for a two maybe a three um, on the back. It looks like it was glued into uh, probably some sort of an album at one time. Like it's missing some some paper tearing on the back there. So it looks like if you look in the one angle, you can see some glue residue, it looks like. Um, doesn't look terrible though. I mean, I've seen a lot worse. Like when you see like the tape marks on the front, I've seen, I've seen a two, a PSA two, go with tape marks, like stains all the way around it. That was a two. So. I would say this would be a two all day long, maybe a three. And there is one crease. Uh, you can see it right here on the one corner. The nice thing though is, yeah, there's a crease, but it doesn't translate to the front. I'm not sure how that is, but like you can't you can't see it from the front. So on presentation, the front looks pretty good. Like the coloring is good, it's not too faded. Corners are actually pretty decent actually for an old old hockey card edges seem okay the only the one you know the crease and the, the the sort of i guess it was taped or glued down or something ripped some of the paper there but other than that i mean the centering in the back looks pretty nice actually so i i'm gonna get it graded by psa um i'm hoping for uh, well psa or back i don't know maybe psa we'll see probably a psa picked up a fleer blue ice these cards are actually quite nice actually for connor this one was cheap i got it for 20 bucks are they numbered so this is the 9th 93 of 199 picked up a kyle connor auto for war for 199 there nice on card auto so ultimate rookie on card i got this for 30 dollars picked up a Premier, this is a retro super rookie. I actually really like the super rookies. I don't know, even though it's a smaller patch, it's an on-card auto, usually pretty low serial number. This is uh, to 199, um, and this is the retro version. But I, I like the way the super rookies look. I like them. So this is from 1617 Premier. Got another on-card auto patch. This one is only to 25. Sorry, the glare there to 25. This is from Ultimate Rookie. Small patch, but triple color so three color patch on card auto uh very nice card this is a beautiful card look at that one graded premiere came out with these uh in 2016 the premier gear so it has a whole bunch of if you're a mem memorabilia guy this is kind of right up your alley got a three color patch piece of the glove actually two pieces of glove another two color patch there and a fight strap in the middle so there was a fight strap and there was ones with buttons um, and tags and stuff that are lower so this one's pretty low this is to 15 5 of 15 I got this for I think $90 yeah no, it was the guy was asking 120 off from 90 he took it so I felt like I got a pretty good deal on that one so picked up two of these I got uh, his rookie metal universe these are anything dry cell rookie or is seems to be fairly short printed so these are not crazy hard to find but they're not floating around everywhere they're 
I think a, a lower print. So this one actually came from Com C. Um, but yeah, I got these for about 40 bucks each. And then I got a, looks a little un, unassuming or underwhelming, but it's a dry saddle uh, PMG uh, to 50. It's 20, it says 27 to 100, but we all know it's, it's actually only to 50 for the blues. Um, the only thing that's weird in this one, it doesn't actually say precious metal gem anywhere, but I know it is. This is how these looked that year. So it's a blue PMG. This would be a long-term hold, obviously. So he's having an awesome season. I love this card. This is that uh, Premier Gear I was talking about from 2016. So obviously not his rookie year, but I just love these cards. It's a low serial number, one of three. It's kind of got a rainbow foil in uh, rainbow sheen in the numbering there in the upper deck logo. This one has the two tags, two patches, triple color, and the button in the middle. Um, super thick card. This is the thickest card I own. I just think these are super cool, beautiful cards. Obviously not his rookie card, but these Premier Gears, such a low serial number and it's just an amazing card. And I got it, the pair, when I say pair, I got the uh, McDavid as well. So th there's only three of these exist and only three of these exist. And I got kind of a matching pair for the dynamic duel for Edmonton. So um, the McDavid is beautiful. One of three. Again, second year card for McDavid. I got tags, two tags, two different tags. From his uh, jersey. Three color patches and that button in the middle. I just think these cards are so cool. They just look so neat. There's the back of the McDavid. These, both these cards are, are, I'm gonna hold them forever. I'm not gonna sell these. I'm just gonna hold on to them and probably put them in a Beckett uh, slab just cause they're so thick and Beckett does thick cards pretty good, I think. So yeah, so those are the two, my two favorite cards from November for sure. Um, pretty rare picks and they just happened to come up. So I snatched them. So got a McDavid patch this is a newer card this is from 1819 game used but uh, the reason I like this one it was a low serial number um, 8 of 35 three color patch and this specific card was worn in the all-star game McDavid's low serial number game used jersey card from uh, early in his career I'll take it I was happy to get that one this one again I like the low serial numbers um, this is a four of five. This is the bronze triple color. Um, this is a newer card. This is from 1920. There's an un uncard auto um, version of this that sells for like six, 700 bucks. This one I got for 180. Rookie gems. I a black diamond card, um, 399, 276 to 399. I don't have this card. This one seems to be climbing up in value too. It's a slightly thicker card. So this is again, true rookie for McDavid. And yeah, these seem to be climbing up. So I figured I'd try and snatch one. Um, next card up, this is McDavid. Um, signature numeric excellence. So two color swatch uh, for the jersey. It would have been nice to get three color, but beggars can't be choosers. This card's only number to 15. This is 12 of 15. On card auto, hard signed. And it's second year card, 1617 Ultimate. Uh, and this is also game game worn jersey. So I think that'll be uh, a good card to hold on to. So happy to get that one. I got another PMG. Obviously, it'd be better if this was the 15, but the 15s are going crazy, like almost 20 grand now uh, for a PSA 10. Raws are going for like five, six grand for the the 2015 version of this card. This is a 16. So this is a second year card. This is uh, card 18 uh, of uh, 150. So yeah, Precious Metal Gem, second year McDavid. I think this is a pretty good value. Got this for just over a thousand bucks. I mean, last year could have got it for less, but uh, they just keep going up. So I wanted to jump on, jump on the train before uh, I could not afford them anymore. So I got a couple, got three of these now. I've got two reds and a blue. I wouldn't mind getting a 15 because I think they're going to be astronomical down the road, but they just keep going up in value. But yeah, McDavid uh, PMG, second year card, nice. And got a Tim Horton second year card. Pretty sure it's a second year card, 1954 Parkhurst. 
Uh, this one is graded and slabbed. The reason I bought this one is that it was already graded and slabbed. 2.5, not the greatest score, but I just wanted this more for nostalgia to have a, a Timmy Horton card uh, early on. Uh, rookie cards are like a little more expensive, a couple grand for a decent grade. So this one was a sec, pretty sure it's a second year card. Pretty sure. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a second year card. And it's a Beckett, actual uh, BBG Beckett grade. So I like Beckett. Um, I think they do a good job for vintage cards. So I'm pretty happy to have this, keep it in my collection long term, and just, yeah, good uh, Canadian connection there, Tim Hortons. Happy to have that card.